And so at this point in time, I would like to uh, welcome our presenter for this session, who is uh, Kusmaira Ambarwati. Kusmaira Ambarwati is a midwife, a midwife, midwifery lecturer with 12 years of work experience at the University of Race Party in Indonesia. She is so passionate about research and volunteering, and she has contributed to uh, a lot of um, research in Indonesia, which includes Breastfeeding uh, Mothers Association, which is a non-profit organization. Um, so Kush Mayra will be presenting her study on um, uh, Mother on Mommy Bombi program, which is uh, a program that is supporting uh, prevention of stunting. Over to you, Kush Mayra. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mwamba, for introducing and welcoming me. Uh, welcome to our audience, wherever you are. Uh, is, uh, I think there's many audience from Indonesia, and uh, it is uh, many country also, like uh, from Canada, London, and Aust Australia. <laughs> it's a cute, Dr. Uh, Bomba. Okay, may you always be in a good health. I'm very happy and grateful to be able to uh, speak on this occasion. I wish you all a happy International Midwife Day. I'm always excited and remember this date because it is uh, along, almost along with my birthday and my mother. It is uh, my fourth and second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, in this occasion, uh, with, uh, okay, I don't know, I cannot, I cannot move the slides, uh, Dr. Ma, okay, yeah. Uh, well, I will go, uh, I will go to my presentation, it's about a qualitative study of mother and mommy mommy program standing prevention. Um, previously, uh, I turned to uh, ICM uh, for initiating a, and as the main support of this activity and this program. Then the University of Respati Indonesia, which also provides a lot of uh, support for the implementation of this activity. Uh, the Association of Radical Midwives and Frontliner uh, Nursing University or I'll always support from this uh, program. Uh, there is a disclaimer that I need to declare here uh, that uh, this uh, program, Mommy Mombi, is a non-profit program established based on a midwife, a midwife and mother's mother support group uh, to disseminate knowledge and information to combat standing. And the study activities do not receive any financial support nor any forms of assistance from companies under the scope of the international code, uh, uh, namely breast milk substitute companies, uh, feeding bottles and teeth companies, as well as complementary baby food companies. And I have no conflict of interest to declare here. Okay, uh, here is the outline of the presentation uh, I will deliver. Uh, first is about background, uh, why I choose this program, and what uh, what kind of uh, what study about, and then method, uh, result, and discussion. And the last is conclusion and closing. Okay, I will begin with uh, the background of the program. So uh, it is start from the. Uh, Stunting, uh, sev uh, the severity of the stunting. You're being severely malnourished. Stunting is a uh, one sign of chronic malnutrition, which can cause uh, various negative health effects throughout a child lifespan. It can also lead to poor social skill and academic performance. Uh, p and the being malnourished can also limit a child's ability to manage uh, their heart and 
UNICEF uh, said that despite significant progress in addressing child undernutrition, it is still a contributing factor to the global burden uh, of disease. Uh, in 2016, about uh, 27 percent of children under the age of five were considered to be severely or moderately stunted. This is a major health issue and has a various health implication. Stunting rates in Indonesia alone reported as much as 37 percent based on data from the Indonesian Children Nutrition Status Study in 2019. And the prevalence of stunting is currently at uh, 27.7 percent. Although it ha has decreased, this uh, this figure is still far from the SDGs target. Uh, we can see that the World Bank data in 2000, uh, 2020 saw that the prevalence of stunting in Indonesia are ranked in 115 out of 151 countries in the world. And the stunting and uh, underweight were related uh, to lower birth weight uh, and fame breastfeed for six months or more. Having parents who were underweight or had short stature and mother who never attended formal education. Stunting was also higher in rural area. We can see from this picture uh, the stunting cases occur on almost all islands in Indonesia. Parts of the Tata Indonesian Basic Health Research Survey, uh, publishing uh, from the Institute of Health Research and Development Agency of the Ministry of Health, Republic of Indonesia. Um, in 2013, uh, the, increasing, uh, the increasingly dark red uh, color indicates a greater number of stunting cases. And we know that being at risk or overweight, obese were closely related to being in the youngest or group two up to nine years. Or male having parents who were overweight or obese or having father with uh, uh, with university education. Indeed, this improper practice can be prevented by providing proper education. Standing was associated with reporting morbidity, parental education, and socioeconomic uh, status in all seven to 12 years old uh, Indonesian children. Therefore, proper monitoring and education is one of the effective ways in effort to prevent standing. So here's the program. A moment moment program is a pilot program that aims to prevent standing. The program was initiated by the International Confederation of Midwives in 2018. Edu uh, education monitoring are carried out from the pregnant woman until their baby's age of two years. And the method use is a combination of the various forms in meeting and educational media. Okay, uh, so about this study. Uh, this study is a part of uh, a part of the monitoring and evaluation of the of the program. This study used qualitative methods with, uh, with a case study approach, complemented uh, by verification. And this study was conducted in uh, subdistrict X in East Jakarta. There were six mother informants and two health providers who participated in this study. Six informants were selected based on compliance and liveliness uh, following the program. Uh, data collection technique with interviews, observation, verification, and documenting. The validity of the data is done by short triangulation. Uh, by triangulation technique and uh, that uh, the data processed by the uh, data induction and uh, reduction uh, techniques. Okay, uh, the result of the uh, the result of the program evaluation, we can see about the first table here. 
we can see that the table one shows the characteristic of the informants in the study of the majority of highly educated have incomes below the uh, provincial minimum wage are uh, of productive age and have more than one child. As per the characteristics of this informant, it, it turns out that it is no, not always aligned and the parental income and education are not necessarily related to the implementation of the good parenting, uh, especially for uh, to prevent the standing cases. And then, uh, especially in the standing prevention effort, informants in this study are mostly high, highly educated, but the implementation of uh, parenting related to stunting prevention is still not appropriate. This is not in line with prayer for uh, many previous studies that this is in interrelated. That thing that is actually relat uh, related as the ability of the literacy of uh, parents in their uh, in their care. In the second table, we saw that the majority of the informants were exposed to the information from the social media, and. Uh, the advertisement part from the social media and on other digital media. This is uh, in accordance with the study that caused by exposure to the breast milk substitute promotion is highly relevant to existing studies. That this exposure greatly uh, affects the attitude of the health workers in the providing support and protection of the breastfeeding. And then the third table here so that the majority of the informants did not take an action uh, taking, uh, action such as uh, early breastfeeding initiation and proper breastfeeding and complementary feeding. This is uh, reinforced by the result of the triangulation. Uh, the informants get uh, very different information all along, especially before joining uh, the mommy mommy program. Uh, many things misleading, especially in the implementation of uh, early breastfeeding initiation and breastfeeding and proper complementary feeding. And the triangulation result, the informant uh, stated uh, about the position of the baby where, when uh, breastfeed. Here we can see the some of the capture of the uh, informant data. They said that my, my, my baby was a kiss to me. I guess it was early breastfeeding initiation. I have done early breastfeeding initia uh, initiation well because the baby is on my chest long enough, approximately 10 minutes. So the triangulation result, the informant said that the baby who was corrected in the mother's chest is not always one hour is an initiation of early breastfeeding. Um, this is a falling of the information of health workers that they do not have sufficient resource and protection and, and regulation for the management of early breastfeeding initiation, actually up to one hour. Uh, likewise, in the process of uh, being treated, informants would do not know and do not carry out treatment showing considered uh, this does not matter. And comfortable health workers say that there are uh, still place uh, health services that do not comply with the uh, rule of baby uh, by having a special uh, baby room and not being treated. And uh, the other one, about the understanding knowledge and implementation of informant related to the standing prevention, about the implementation of a cold standard of uh, child feeding. Uh, this result of the analysis saw that the understanding management of informant parenting and providing standing prevention, uh, parenting is still, need, uh, still not appropriate. Uh, one factor is exposure to health workers who are not independent in uh, providing health information, especially in feeding children. Um, 
in this case is the process of breastfeeding and giving the right complementary feeding. Um, we can see here. Uh, in initiate, I initiated a doctor on the name of Doctor Indonesia. Uh, there is uh, on their Instagram that the best complementary feeding can be given from the manufacturer, so the menu is scalable. And the other one, I got information from uh, my doctor that uh, it is necessary to add fat to my child complementary feeding. So I give additional olive oil or margarine to it before serving. Uh, of course, uh, the process uh, before 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 uh, the mother add uh, some some fat. The process the the process already use the fat, whether the oil uh, the oil oil or butter um, and and the kind of the fat. But after uh, before they serve, they are they keep the additional fat again. And that this is in line with the studies that I have been done that the general health workers provide less uh, precious uh, breast meat substitute in the place of the health services. And mother, uh, here we know that uh, conclusion from uh, this uh, study, mother uh, got a lot of information from all uh, over the uh, environment, uh, included included heart providers in the effort to maintaining uh, standing prevention. Also, uh, there needs to be a special educate uh, education uh, related to uh, the uh, the selection of the literacy of um, a mothers in pro uh, proper uh, child care. Uh, here. I give uh I have a little of the closing stat uh closing statement that uh, hard workers should uh, should be able to uh, to provide uh, balance and independent information without any conflict of interest in standing prevention. So it is the best practice to all of uh, hard workers not just midwife, but also all of the health providers. So I think I, I left 10 minutes, I think. Okay, it is uh, the reference of uh, this presentation uh, this night. Uh, maybe you can capture and it is, uh, you, uh, you can revert to the original original document here yeah okay thank you very much that's all uh, the presentation that i can give to you all and then thank you for your attention and your time and your attendance here uh please if you have any question or clarification you you can uh ask to me and then I give back to Dr. Wamba here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Wamba. I give back to you. It's still <laughs> eight minutes left. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kusmaira, for a wonderful presentation, which has been very uh, informative and thought provoking. And so for those that have questions, if you are able to unmute and just ask Kusmaira, that will be great so that we can hear your voice. Or the other option is to just type it in the chat box, then uh, Kusmaira will see it and respond, or I can read it to her. So questions are most welcome at this moment. So I'll, I'll take three questions if possible at a time, and then Kusmaira will answer them. Then we move on to the other set of three. So, Kusmaira, there's already the first question from uh, Linda. She's asking if you can explain the term stunting to her. She's not familiar with the term. What does stunting mean? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Linda. Are you sure? <laughs> it's just testing me. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the first question from from Linda 
uh, Dr. Wambat, uh, I will I will answer the question one by one, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. You can answer so you can respond to Linda now. Okay. Hi, Kusmaira. We're waiting for your response to Linda's question. Okay, Linda. Here, I want to explain about what is the uh, stunting. Yeah, stunting is condition where the child or yeah children under under uh, under uh, under two years old is uh, in the depression for. Uh, Poor linear growth during a critical period, yeah, and it is uh, diagnosed as a higher for X less uh, than two standard deviation. It is uh, based of based on the uh, World Health Organization uh, child growth standard median. So uh, if you if we uh, if we see uh, in the in the growth chart. Uh, Especially, uh, we can use the World Health, Organi World Health Organization uh, cross chart there. Uh, so the stunting diagnosis by uh, uh, the poor linear cross during a critical period, and it's, uh, which is diagnosed as a hike for age less than two standard deviation from uh, uh, less uh, sorry less than two standard deviation. So. Uh, it's not only uh, the uh, some some people uh, know that the stunting is the uh, the height is not the uh, like the the X, but but not only not only uh, this. It's also the we can see the diagnosis from the height from the X uh, uh, in the crow chart. Not not only not only uh, look from the um, do you know the posture, the first, uh, the first, uh, first inside the posture, it's not like this, and uh, the uh, we know that the consequence of the uh, child standing uh, it's uh, pretty much on long term. It is uh, will be increased morbidity and the mortality and. And it will be make the poor child development and learning capacity, and increase of the uh, risk of infection and non communicable diseases in adulthood. Now, Anna, the uh, the sorry, this uh, the stat the stat about the stunting is that the. The diagnosis of the hack for the egg less than the standard of the deviation from the crow chart. Yeah, it is the uh, standing term on standing condition. Uh, it can, uh, it is enough, Linda? Yes, indeed. Um, so, really, it's um, talking about threat. Well, I, th I think we used to call it failure to thrive, a baby that or a child doesn't grow properly as it should do. Mm. File to trap is uh, the condition before before standing. Okay, okay. okay I, was not, so, I was not familiar with that term. Mm -hmm. So if if the condition we 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 didn't uh, take uh, any action, so uh, it will be expand to the standing condition. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Linda. It wasn't really. It wasn't really um, testing you. It was just, a, it was just a query because I'm not familiar with the term. <laughs> okay, it is because in uh, in your country now there is uh, zero case stunting, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, we do have children who do not who fail to thrive and do not grow because they are malnourished, which is what you're talking about, really, isn't it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd have to look into it to be honest. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you, Kush Smaira. We have another question from Jita. So okay. she wants to explain more about what the Mommy, Mommy program is doing to prevent stunting that has been carried out in your research. 
Okay, so thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much, Dr. Wamba. Uh, okay, uh, I want to uh, make explanation about this uh, question. Thank you very much, Mbak Gita, about your question. So uh, now, um, uh, the, the program is still uh, still working, the activities also, but in this, uh, in this term of the pandemic era, we're going to the online education. And um, now uh, the Mommy Mombi not just alone, we have the collaboration with uh, three, uh, three, three non, uh, non, non government organization and also three senior midwife. Uh, also, let's lead uh, all of them is the uh, breastfeeding counselor and also um, uh, the petty, uh, petty, uh, pediatrician and then uh, we start going to the uh, make an education in the uh, to, you know in the social media uh, uh, since 2019 but uh, be, because there is some some uh, some obstacle that we uh, face on this program so the uh, the social media is uh, we take turn uh, take turn from the moment, and also about the uh, application it is still uh, uh, still on on coming to, and we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, make uh, make a new new profile new program and new uh, uh, new uh, new new menu, uh, new menu there. Uh, about uh, the education of the pr uh, prevention of the standing uh, standing condition. Uh, in this term, we also uh, try to collaborate with the uh, the new application that ha has been has been launched uh, in the uh, in the March. It's about the uh, try five five. Uh, we can also use uh, uh, this uh, this this uh, application to uh, to make an activity and also uh, make activity to know about the, the development of our children and on the next uh, in the next uh, plan from this program i think uh, we we will uh, we will we will uh, make make uh, make this programs uh, so far yeah long last to uh, independent to make uh, education to uh, especially to prevent standing but uh, but uh, uh, we not uh, not restrict not only to uh, the uh, standing prevention but also the the whole heart how to care uh, maternal and child uh, child health I think it is the um, the uh, our big program here and uh, uh, okay, it's a kind of the education for breastfeeding mothers. Oh yeah, uh, it just include about the education uh, for the breastfeeding mothers too. So uh, uh, we start from the teenagers, and then pre uh, preconception, and then pregnant woman, and then a woman. Oh sorry, a breastfeed mother up to up to uh, the children uh, two years old. And we also have the program for the teenagers too. Perfect. So there is uh, another follow-up uh, question from Paloma. Have you seen it? Does the program mm -hmm. and education of health providers as well? Since you mentioned that some doctors told women to add fat to the supplementation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, uh, Paloma, about your question. Uh, yeah, uh, this program also uh, address education about uh, how to uh, about uh, how to choose the uh, the best uh, the best health facility uh, health facility uh, include of the doctor uh, sorry sorry include of the health providers. Uh, how the 
um, how the what is it? Uh, how should I say? Uh, the characteristic, the characteristic of the independent uh, head worker, something like that. Something we can say that uh, you can say about the head facility first. There is no advertising, uh, advertising, and then sorry, uh, there is no advertising about uh, that. The include in the international code, we 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 explain what is it uh, pan, uh one by one uh, about uh, maybe like the sticker and then the banner and then uh, many things yeah uh, we can see this in the room of the maternal room maybe on uh, in the baby room uh, whether that the health facility have uh, another room to uh, to help babies, uh, this is of uh, we can avoid it. Uh, uh, and after we uh, we give the education, the decision uh, we we put uh, put back again to the mother because it is uh, uh, their right, right. So uh, it is some uh, some example. And then about the doctor, you uh, we can see uh, we can uh, also make a, a example of the heart provider who is very independent maybe from we can see about uh, in this uh, the uh, their social media there is no advertising the uh, the health provider also not uh, make advertisement about some product maybe and maybe direct to the uh, a product that include to the scope of the international code something like this because in Indonesia uh, with, um, the regulation is just only uh, a house up to one year. So there is many advertisement that very misleading in the television, in the social media, then very huge. And also the government, some of the government organization uh, still make a collaboration and also, you know, some yeah, collaboration with the many program of the government, especially of the uh, for the combating of the stunting uh, cases. Thank you very much for that response. We still have some time. So any further questions or maybe I should ask my questions if uh, people have no questions. So my first question is with regards to how you came up with your intervention, the one that you're using to, uh, is it re reduce or educate people on uh, the reduction of stunting in Indonesia? What made you choose the model you are using? Why did you choose the education model as a way of reducing stunting in Indonesia? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Mamba. So why I chose uh, this uh, program is about uh, the technique uh, and the education technique. Why? Because uh, in my previous uh, previous uh, previous study, um, there is uh, many things that misleading of the information that uh, that uh, face to the uh, to the community, especially to the mother. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, how about uh, economic? How about uh, maybe in the condition uh, on maternal condition? Uh, it uh, there is there is uh, many 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 way to to uh, to resolve. Maybe we can give the collaboration to make the financial support, some things like that. But from the education, it is the the mind uh, the mind. Uh, the main problem to how to uh, to make uh, their their mind uh, their mind change because uh, the the first time they cut they cut uh, to you know some advertisement and uh, uh, especially from for uh, people who who have many uh, who can influence influence uh, influence in the community it's fairly dangerous so the uh, the key points and the uh, you know and the words very uh, very mended in the in uh, from the mother so uh, they will uh, their practice will be uh, allowed to the, uh, to the the to the to the to the the influencer so 
then it's very good in in Indonesia. There is many social media very very free in Indonesia. And no, uh, no restriction here. So, I think this is the best way because, yeah, uh, even we 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 do we do it very difficult. Um, but we know that there is no one that uh not not be uh, not be chance. Uh, because in this program, I I see, I see many uh, many many uh, change uh, many changing practice to the babies how to make a complement a good complementary feeding how to uh, how how they can advocate themselves if they if they uh, face uh, to the uh, health facilitator or health provider who not. Uh, would not uh, would not support of uh, of the breastfeeding who not support of the uh, initiate initiate uh, early initiate breastfeeding would not allow the uh, mother um, make her their right I think it is the best way.